Hello friends and welcome again to another AFK journey video. In this video, we're gonna go and defeat the dream boss, the honey bear, because it's the alpha bear today. And we got the highest scores actually with a good lineup and a good free to play lineup actually with the top units that you are building and they will help you a lot. But first of all, let's go. We defeated the big crystal beetle and now let's go into the cinematics and get our rewards. I'm gonna be skipping it because it's the same thing as every boss that we defeated and here we go we get our rewards finally congratulations all to the top players we have this full this is the dura's token okay perfect we got 1000 we got a copy 10 summons and beta slayer title absolutely fantastic we did that in 10 days i think so that was pretty awesome actually and we got a free bundle i was wondering what what is that okay some items will expire in seven days well i think maybe maybe we uh need to do that the dura's uh, trial what do we have here what is it because it's full okay that's that's fine that's totally fine because if we're gonna go and do the dura's trials i think we can reach another level nine i think 11 10 we can do it clear yeah we can do 11 because we defeat 800 of course do that to get the most scores after like you go and defeat all the duras trials that you can now let's talk about the honey bear the honey bear same lineup that i did before but this time with improving my characters so i have Odie and i have smoky having a little bit of a buff i think if i do this so she can deal more damage this will improve our scores now kruger i didn't put him in the front because i want the shields on him he will get the shields he will tank but our main tank will be smoky and with the evocation spell we're gonna get some shields so he's gonna be protected and of course coco will buff us i'm still working for coco to get to the mythic plus she's mythic now after i got so many shards and i did some summons uh she got to mythic which is really good it helps with her survivability actually but we want her at mythic plus so we can get the shields when the buff expires now let's go and check how much damage can we deal with this specific lineup if we can go above 50 percent without uh, uh merrily i think vala would be better here so i'm gonna go and test it i'm gonna check it out how it works and here we go the buffs of coco merrily is dealing decent damage and we get the buff from smoky on everybody and Kruger is dealing a lot of amount of damage. You're going to see that in the end result. I'm going to show you that. Kruger is just absolutely insane when you get him to Mythic Plus. Can we get the buff? And we got it. And Smokey died. So I don't think we're going to hit our best scores. Unless we put Kruger maybe in the front. So he can tank a little bit. And we got the, uh, the, the, the Avigation spell. Which gave us a little bit of time. So we can go for Coco's buff. Absolutely good. And here we go, Kruger will drop in health, but he will keep sustaining and healing a little bit because of his passive, which is good. And he's still healing a little bit by a little bit. If you can check these green numbers, it's the healing because of his lifesteal. And we got a new score right now, which is above the 60%. Absolutely perfect. This is probably because I swapped some levels on my Mary Lee, which is really, really awesome. Let's check the scores. And uh, what did we get? So Kruger did good amount of damage, relatively. Uh, uh, Smokey, we couldn't keep him alive. So I think I should put Kruger and Merrily and uh, Merrily did more score than uh, Odie because she survived until the end of the battle. So this is really good. If you want Smo uh, Odie to survive, you can put him in the back line. He would survive even a little bit more. And Merrily is the one to die. So let's go and check if we can put Vala and maybe she can give us good numbers instead of Merrily. But I doubt I doubt that because Merrily is dealing amazing job. Here we go. That's Vala. Uh, I will keep the same lineup and then we're gonna try with uh, putting Kruger in the front so he can tank. So let's go and check this out. Here we go. Okay. So Smokey is still alive. That's good. We want him to deal the buffs that's good and we're dealing a little bit less damage than usual because merrily here spirals and deals a lot of true damage so i don't think vala could catch up to this if we can't get to the 50 percent, there is no reason to play her again remember if you're uh, and smoky died again so we need to put smoky 
in a position that he will not be the one tanking and actually the one that will be tanking is Cougar. And uh, yeah, we I don't think we're gonna get the 50%. And here we go, the vacation spell made our Coco stay alive so she can heal a little bit and give us the buffs. So it will keep us safe and we can deal a little bit more damage because we buff our attack. And Odie is now uh, tagged, which is really, really bad. And yeah, Vala alone. So with Merrily, it's better because it's so slow for Vala to get to the 50%. Lesson learned. So next try, we're going to put Smokey aside and we're going to put Kruger in the front. So he will tank, but he will not get in the shields from the start of the battle. So let's test this out. Does it work or we should put Kruger always alone? Because uh, Smokey will add a little bit of damage if we play him like this. Here's Merrily. Uh... Here is Merrily, and let's put the points or yep on Merrily because Merrily is our best damage dealer. So here we go. Could Kruger survive actually at the start, or we need to put Smokey always there? Okay, now Kruger will get honeyed. He did get honeyed. The next one to get honeyed, I think it will be Coco, and it is Coco. Hopefully, she can survive to give us the third buff or the first buff. She didn't even give us the first buff. This is the problem. So we can put Smokey instead of of her, maybe in her position, and that will give us the uh, time. Hopefully we can get the buff from Smokey and Smokey dealt some damage, which is really good. Look how he's melting the boss right now, but he melted as well. So we need to put Coco, I think, instead of him in that area. So she's the one to get attacked after that because he can tank a little bit, he's Supreme Plus. And he has high stats. We're still dealing good damage. It's better than the Vala lineup actually. 100% better. And Kruger survives. No matter what, Kruger survives. Which is absolutely awesome. That's, that's really great. We almost got to the same point, I think. The same amount of damage that we did. We did 60% and more. And now we got to the 60%. So yeah, that's a perfect lineup. Actually, we need Coco at Mythic Plus. She needs some stats. And here we did the same damages, of course. Yep, almost the same damages, but I think we should replace OD or, or Smokey with uh, Coco. Hopefully this will work to our benefit. Coco, don't step up. Okay, that's perfect. So Coco stayed behind. So Smokey should be the next in line to get honeyed and Coco could survive a little bit and give us the buff. So everybody would survive. So here we go. Coco. Yeah, and, and uh, Smokey is not getting the auto attacks. It means he would might survive even better a little bit and here we get heals from him and he's taking a lot of damage evocation spell save us or coco save us and we couldn't okay it's the same thing if we put him up front or if we put him on right or left i think it's a little bit uh maybe we need coco actually we 100 need coco to go to mythic plus then everything will be fine we didn't give even get the buff from her at the end because we took the ball into the face so swapping Smokey and putting him on the right and Coco on the left, that would be even better for our run. So far, we'll do, we're doing good actually, even with the run like this. It's still good, it's not bad. And Kruger, the amount of time that it takes for him to die, that's absolutely insane. He survived a lot. And here we go, <laughs> another top score, even with which it was not the best lineup or the best scores we still managed to get a top score, which is really, really awesome. And yeah, this is the lineups that I did. I hope you enjoyed the video and you come up with a lineup similar. You can play different units. Also, you can check the recommended units. Uh, many people told me Flora Bell is working for them really good, but this lineup for me is working perfectly. I did try Corrin instead of Coco. Coco still give us better buffs because of the faction and plus because uh, she gives us the shields and the buffs for attack so everybody else will deal more damage. And yeah, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, I thank you for watching and as always, stay frosty. Peace.